<laughs> Todd stands his ground. <laughs> The battle has been won. <laughs> Malachite has once again failed at bringing Todd down. He retreats back into the forest. As Todd goes back to eating. A little further away, another predator is about to ambush Todd. This is the teenage Allosaurus from five years ago. Now fully grown, she can hunt prey by herself. She leaves the area in search of more suitable prey. Later in the afternoon, a predator takes the day off under the shade of the trees. It's Daisy, the Dilophosaurus. She is now a fully grown adult at six meters long and two meters tall. She has recently fed on a hadrosaur. The meat should last her a good few days. The carcass lies a few feet away and the stench of a fresh kill will attract other carnivores to scavenge the remains. Mark, the Monolophosaurus. <sighs> Old age has weakened his ability to chase after prey, so he tries to make a living, so to speak, any way he can. <sighs> he begins to feast on the carcass. Never noticing that Daisy has awoken. <laughs> Daisy does not like intruders. <laughs> As the day wears on, the animals continue their daily routine. Malachite has successfully brought down a young Stegosaurus. He feasts ravenously. But he is unaware. He is being watched. Suddenly, it attacks without warning. <laughs> Malachi. 
Hittite, using all of his strength, shakes off his assailant. Malachite freezes. It's the Giganotosaurus. Still traumatized by his family's death, Malachite backs down. The Giganotosaurus, who we will now call Slayer, begins feasting on the corpse. Slayer may think he is king of the island, but he's about to find out. There is a new king in town.